If you not have done so already, I highly recommend that you check out my previous tutorial that I released right before this one on the cleartechinfo.com site called How to Thoroughly Remove Malware, Spyware, and Viruses for Free. There I covered a few things I might skip on this one. So what you'll be using in this tutorial is the free version of Malwarebytes Anti-Malware, Super Anti-Spyware, and a free trial of Kaspersky Antivirus 2010. On the previous tutorial, I showed you where to download each of those. Check in this area to make sure Kaspersky is on. The red key should be there. If not, go to the Start button and find the Kaspersky folder. Open that up. Now that it's turned on, Plug in your hard drive via the USB hard drive enclosure. I will turn on mine right now. I'll open up the my computer area so you'll see it appear here when I plug it in. Okay, just turn it on. You might get a little pop-up like this. Just close it. And you might also get some sort of notification here and this thing might pop up. Also, it's, if it's the first time you're plugging it in on that computer, it might take about three to four minutes to properly install. It might even ask you to restart the computer. If it asks you to restart, just restart it. After it's fully installed, just let it set for a couple minutes. The reason why I say that is sometimes your hard drive might be infected with some sort of virus that automatically pops up when it is plugged into another computer. In case that happens, Kaspersky here will protect you so the other computer will not get infected. We'll pretend that a couple minutes have passed so you can just close this, exit this, open up Malwarebytes Anti-Malware, update it in case it doesn't have the latest updates, make sure it says perform full scan, uncheck everything and only check the drive that you plugged in. If you go back to my computer, it will give the proper drive letter. On mine, it is drive letter G. Click scan. And it goes through the scan process. Just follow any on-screen instruction that it may give you. If it says restart the computer, restart the computer. Do whatever it says. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to cut the scan short. After that, it might restart the computer, so just right click Kaspersky again, exit it, and go on to the next program. updated to the latest virus definitions or spyware and malware definitions then click scan your computer again here uncheck everything and only check the drive that you just plugged in make sure perform complete scan is selected click next same thing here just follow all on-screen instructions and usually super anti-spyware asks you to restart after it's done so just do whatever it says. I will pause it and exit it for the purposes of the tutorial, but you complete the full scan. After that is complete, it will probably ask you to restart your computer. If not, you have to open up Kaspersky again. When it's turned on, just make sure it, you open it up, that it's updated. Close that up, open up computer, or if your icon is not here, just go and click computer, same thing. On Windows XP, it will be my computer. Select your drive, right click it, and click scan for viruses. Let's do that. Yours will not be so fast. Yours will probably take about an hour, maybe, maybe 90 minutes to complete. I'm just going to stop it for the sake of this tutorial and just follow any on-screen instructions Kaspersky gives you.
that's how I remove all the viruses, malware, and spyware on my work computers and home. For more tutorials, tips, tricks, and advice on computers, internet, and technology, go to cleartechinfo.com.